Our videos explain the basic principles of tracking adjustments. They do not form a comprehensive guide. Adjustments should only be performed by a competent person with reference to the instructions of the correct maintenance and repair manual for the vehicle. On this fully functioning model we have a steering wheel, a steering rack and two wheels complete with control arms. And each side has a track rod assembly and this is where tracking adjustments are made. Each assembly has a track rod and a track rod end. The track rod is fully rotatable with a threaded section that can be screwed in and out of the track rod end to make it longer and shorter which adjusts the angle of the wheel. It's then locked in length by a locking nut on the thread. This model is based on the most common rack and pinion type steering where the track rod assemblies connect to the rear of the wheels. Rarely vehicles may have rods that connect to the forward side of the wheels and larger vehicles may have different setup altogether. The correct maintenance and repair manual will explain how to make the adjustments on your particular vehicle. The first part of correcting tracking is to check that both wheels are central to the steering. Drive slowly forward bringing your vehicle to a gentle stop in the straight ahead direction and note the position of the steering wheel. If the steering wheel is central Next, check the amount of remaining visible threads on each track rod end. On the right hand rod we have 35mm and on the left hand rod we have 35mm. If these are equal, the front wheels are properly centred with the steering. You can now go ahead with a toe angle check and adjust if necessary. If you find that the track rods have been set with slightly unequal threads, this is usually done to allow a centred steering wheel where some parts are wearing unevenly, especially where a new part has been fitted to just one side. But in this case, the need for any more than 10mm difference in exposed threads may be indicating a severely worn part and a full suspension check is then recommended. If the steering wheel is off centre, you will probably find unequal visible threads on the track rods. Here the steering wheel is to the left, which means both wheels are overly adjusted to the right. If I straighten the steering wheel you can clearly see both wheels point to the right. When I measure the visible threads on the track rods we have 30mm on the right hand side but 40mm on the left hand side, giving us a difference of 10mm. To correct this we need to adjust both wheels to the left until they line up with the steering wheel. To do this we need to make the right hand rod assembly longer and the left hand assembly shorter by equal amounts. So with 10mm difference in the exposed threads we will slacken this right lock nut and wind the rod out of the track rod end 5mm. and retighten the lock nut. On the left we're going to wind the nut back to leave 5mm threads, wind this rod into the track rod end 5mm and tighten the lock nut. Ensuring both lock nuts were tightened, roll the vehicle backwards and then forwards in the straight ahead direction. You should now find a centred steering wheel and equal visible threads on the track rods. You can now go ahead with a toe angle check and adjust if necessary. If the steering wheel is still slightly off centre, you can make further small centering adjustments, but remember only slightly uneven visible threads on the track rods is acceptable. If the steering wheel is off centre to the right, we need to make opposite adjustments than to the left. This means making the right hand assembly shorter and the left hand assembly longer by equal amounts. 